For information about the notes and books that accompany this series, please ring this number, 081-991-8031, which is available 24 hours a day. In three minutes, Storytime discovers who chased away the goat. First on BBC Two, the news headlines from Chris Lowe. Good afternoon. The latest trade figures show exports up and imports down. It means a reduced deficit of just over £1 billion. The improvement comes as the latest CBI industrial survey shows business confidence at its lowest ebb for nearly a decade. More evidence today of the slowdown in the British economy, which is driving a wedge between the government and growing numbers of its traditional friends in industry. High interest rates have cut profits in some of Britain's biggest companies. Many businessmen believe recession has already arrived. Today's trade figures show that imports fell in August. Fewer people can afford foreign goods. The monthly trade gap has closed to its narrowest level this year as the economy grinds towards a halt. The CBI's gloomiest forecast for nearly a decade showed almost a third of manufacturing companies expect orders to fall during the remainder of 1990. What the CBI and the Labour Party are both calling for is a relaxation in the government's policy of high interest rates. But in Washington, for talks at the IMF, the Chancellor, John Major, remains resolute. An economic slowdown is necessary for inflation to be brought under control and interest rates must stay high until prices show clear signs of falling. Today's other headlines, the Soviet Parliament has voted overwhelmingly to move the country to a market economy, but it's again delayed a decision on the pace of change. Winnie Mandela has appeared in court, formally charged with assault and kidnapping. She'll be tried next February. The loyalist paramilitary group, the Ulster Freedom Fighters, has admitted the wrong man was killed in a pub shooting in County Antrim. And the Environment Secretary, Chris Patton, has failed to get the Court of Appeal to prevent Lambeth Council setting its poll tax above government guidelines. That's it. The next news is at three o'clock. Hello. Cool, breezy and showery today, but tomorrow fewer and lighter showers and less in the way of wind, but just at the moment, quite a number of showers. It's still dry in many parts of the south, but plenty of showers further north. Some more persistent rain at the moment over southern Scotland and northeast England. That rain is going to slip down the east coast of England during the course of the afternoon. Uh, still, and showers break out elsewhere, perhaps even a rumble of thunder in places.